Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O my soul, praise you for he is your wealth and salvation. Come all who hear, now to this altar draw near. A reading from the first book of Kings. The brook near Elijah was, Elijah was hiding ran dry because no rain had fallen in the land. So the Lord said to Elijah, move on to Sarephat of Sidon and stay there. I have designated a widow there to provide for you. He left and went to Sarephat. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, please bring me a small cupful of water to drink. She left to get it, and he called out after her, please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing bay. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jaw. Just now, I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. 
Elijah said to her, Do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first, make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says, The jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year, and Elijah and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry as the Lord has foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, Lord let, let your, your face, face shine on us. us. When I call, answer me, O oh my just God. You who relieve me when I am in distress, have pity on me and hear my prayer. Men of rank, how long will you be dull of heart? How do you love what is vain and seek after falsehood? Lord, Lord let, let your face shine on us. us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Tremble and sin not. Reflect upon your beds in silence. Lord, Lord, let your face shine on us. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart more than when grain and wine abound. Lord, let your face shine on us. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! According to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its taste, what can it be what can it be seasoned with? It is no longer good for anything, but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden. Do not let the light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket but it is set upon a lampstand, where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine for, for, for others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew in the fifth chapter simply tells us you are the light of the earth. You are the salt of the world. Salt and light. Have you ever thought what it means to be salt and to be light in this world? Imagine you get a new recipe and you cook some wonderful vegetable soup. 
with all the best of ingredients. It simmers for hours and it looks really tasty, but you're out of salt. So you just let it simmer and you hope for the best. And then when it's fully cooked, you taste it and it's tasteless. So you search or you go to the store or wherever until you find salt. And you just add a little pinch of salt to the soup. And after a while you try a sample and you're greatly delighted. It's amazing what salt can do. Or imagine you're going for a walk in the forest and you lose track of time and you get lost. And as you search for your way out of the forest, the sun sets and it becomes dark. It's overcast. And about a half hour after sunset, you find yourself in complete darkness there in the middle of the forest. As you sit there, you suddenly see the moon peek through the clouds. And the moon sheds light. And you're able to make your way out of the dark forest. And these images simply show us the importance of just a little salt and the importance of a little light. They change everything. And so it is with our faith. The world we live in is dark, dark, in so many different ways. God is calling us through our baptism to add just a little flavor, to produce that little light so that others can find their way find their way to God by seeing us. God wants to shine through you and he wants to shine through me. He wants us to reflect his light. And if you and I are open to this, he will move the clouds at the right time so as to use us to bring other people to him and eventually to heaven. Our responsibility is to be open. Open to the salt of the word that gives taste to our lives. And open to the light that shows us the way, the way home to him. And so we pray. Please stand. Lord, you ask us to be salt and light. You ask us to allow the love that you have given us to shine forth from and through us and to bring other people to you. for the leaders of our church, that they may diligently look after and tend God's sheep, bringing them, bringing back the strayed, binding up the injured and healing the sick, and shepherding us on the right path. May they be our salt and our light. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer that all authorities and powers that are in opposition to God and God's ways may be brought under subjection to Christ the King. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our that we who know in what the final judgment of God will consist of may be the first to treat Christ in the hungry, the thirsty, the stranger, the sick, 
and the imprisoned with compassion and reverence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the sick and the suffering, those who are suffering from COVID-19, those who are suffering from cancer, problems with diabetes, and other diseases, and for the people who take care of them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all those who protect us. We pray for the safety of all first responders, that they will take their vocation seriously and always respect everyone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And so we ask Mary, our mother, to intercede with us as we pray, Hail Mary. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of God. Blessed be God for our labor. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual. Blessed be God for Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of blessed St. Ephraim be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him we too give ourselves a to your praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. What your spirit with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints. And in crown their marriage, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support. So that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us. And when with them, the imperishable crown of glory through Christ. And so with the angels and saints, we praise you, as we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest, you are holy indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts be prayed by sending down your spirit upon the light that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body which will be 
given up freely. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and again, giving thanks and praise, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of Mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Michael and Gustavo our bishops, clergy and people everywhere. Remember your servants, John Romano, Rose Romano, Alfred Boyd, Lolita Boyd, whom you have called from this life to your soul. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have given you will throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and that we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by my teaching, we now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our lives, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free sin, saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the kingdom of our Lord, 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 now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I leave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with and your spirit. spirit. Let us share with each other some sign of our peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be teacher of the Bible, but I hope you say the word, and my soul shall be Make me a channel of your peace. There is faith and let me bring your love. There is danger in your pardon, Lord. When they're stuck through faith in you. Make me a channel of your peace. For there's despairing life. Let me bring forth, for there is darkness only light, and when there's sadness, joy evermore. Oh, Master, grant that I may never see so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood. As to understand, to be loved, as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is important in that we are part in giving ourselves that we receive. And I am then. Oh, Master, grant that I may never see so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a shadow. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of blessed St. Ephraim, we may abide at all times. 
for the gifts we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for being here this morning. Thank you all at home who are watching and praying with us. Tomorrow morning we'll be here again at 8.30. And tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock we'll have a special Mass uh, to pray for the safety, for the well-being of our uh, police and our first responders. So we'd like you to be here with us. And if you can't, we ask you to pray for them from your homes. The Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, bless us. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Our Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God be with you be not to be brave, and without a place in the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who crowd to the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Amen. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of Oh, uh -huh.